Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about cultivation and general stats. Now, I've done a lot of research into this, and I now have the complete answer for y'all for how these things work. But first, I want to thank a couple people that helped me with this. Spike411, who commented on my last video, the one I originally did about this, asking for help, which is already taken down, so don't go looking for it. And then the YouTube channel Derek Defiles. I reached out to the uh, owner of the channel and he helped me find the answer to this problem. So thank you to those two people for helping me get the answer. And then also uh, Aaron on YouTube who recommended Derek Defile's YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the comments below if y'all are interested. He's got some good stuff. Now, let me show y'all the tool that I have created to use this information and put it to maximum use. Now, first, let's cover the rules that we discovered. First of all, there's an important number here that we need to know. That's the growth rate. The growth rate is the number of that stat that you will gain per level. So if you go to the site, One Chilled Gamer, they're going to be listed right here. That's the G factor. And they're also listed in game right here, the growth factor. Each star that you have is going to increase the growth rate up to five stars. The Ascension doesn't increase the growth rate. So for the first star, it's going to take this base growth rate and it is going to multiply it by uh, 20%. And then it's going to, for the second star, add 20% to that total and then add 20% to that total and so on and so forth. So that's how we get these calculations right here. The total attack is 10% of the total stats up to uh, 900 and 20% for everything over 900. And that was the part that I couldn't figure out on my own thanks to those people that helped me out. Each red star that you have, so each ascension, is going to increase all of the stats by 10. Just a flat 10. And when you're using the calculator, just add those to the cultivation box because the way this calculator is set up is that the cultivation is just added as a flat number to it. Each ascension phase is going to give 10 to the respective stat. The first phase is leadership, second is attack, third is defense, and fourth is politics. And to show you all that in game in case you're still wondering, what I mean by each phase is each of these. When you ascend him, see how it says 10 to leadership? The next one's going to be 10 attack, 10 and 10 and 10. And then for the fifth, it doesn't give you extra. It just gives you their skill. So that's the same for every general. So you can just count however many you have based on how many stars you have for ascension. So since I have three full red stars, I'm going to know that I need to add a flat 30 to whatever skill I am trying to test. Now, let's get into how to use this calculator. So first you're going to want to use, find the base growth rate, and you're going to find it from this website. For this example, I have Trajan up, looking at his attack, 7.85 growth rate, 109 base. So we're going to put these numbers into these boxes. You're going to put the level of the general, which for Trajan is 31, how much cultivation you have. So I believe I had 501 on him, plus the 30 for the stars. So that's 531. And then if you have a dragon on that, that gives you stats as well. Add the dragon stats into here also. And then once you do all that, you're going to be able to see the total attack percent that you have here. I have it listed as attack, but this calculator also works for defense and hit point as well. So you can calculate that. So the calculator says if he's at five stars, it's going to be 155% attack. If we look in game, we can see that he gets 155% attack. Now, let's go ahead and just get a random general just to show you all that this calculator does work. So the 15th general, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15th, we have a level 24 Jefferson. Now we're going to grab his base stats. 
from the website here. And then let's say it's going to calculate his defense. 98 base defense, 6.86 growth rate. Six point six and ninety-eight. And let's double check that. Six point eight six. Now let's see what level this Jefferson is. He's level twenty-four and four stars. And then the cultivation we have on him, zero cultivation, zero red stars, zero dragons. So we would expect to see a 42% return, which if we look in here, we looked at defense, 42.5% return. Yeah, even calculated the 0.5%. So you can see this calculator is working. And the reason this tool is useful is, say, Ebony releases a new general. You can find their base stats from the website, or if you just get them in game, you can plug their base stats into here, and then you can use that tool to project them. So let's say this Jefferson, I want to know what I get if I put him to five stars. Well, I'm going to get a 49% attack increase. If I want to level him up to 30, it's going to be a 59% increase. So. It's really useful, for me at least, because when I run the numbers on the generals to see who has the best in stat, these numbers can affect things. So it's important to know them as well as just their skills, cultivations, and ascensions. So that's how to use this tool. I'm going to leave a comment below with a link to it. It's uh, going to link to a Google spreadsheet, and you're only going to have view permissions. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the spreadsheet, and then you can start using it. And I've included these right here, these rules, just for uh, easy reference. And if you forget how to use the calculator, you can always just come back to the video. I highly encourage you all to use this calculator and share it with people. However, if you do share it with people, all I ask is that you just drop my YouTube name. Give me a little bit of uh, support. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching.